Man, that door sure is crusty. Let's divorce this old door. Now, what's fun about this door is it's got about an 86 inch tall opening for about an 84 inch tall door. So a 36 by 80 in stock at the store is not going to work. Check it out. The neighbors already had theirs done and they had it packed out up top, kind of have it built out. I love lemons on my door. <laughs> we do that to avoid ordering a custom door, which might start at about $600. So anyways, we got this old ass jam that's super deep. I've got mortar behind there. I'm going to have to do custom jam extensions and get creative here with the trim. The old trim ran all the way down behind that brick there. So let's get this old door out of the way first. Such a big, strong boy. Three inch long screws hide amongst us. Remove them all. This metal framing on the inside had nails in it as well, so that was fun to remove. What a mess. Look at this. I'm just getting shit everywhere. Hiya! Cut that in half with Uncle Hacky. Sawzall reciprocating saw. <laughs> Get the jam and the brick mold removed. And check this out. From here to here, my door will barely fit. I got like an eighth of an inch play on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove and chip away a bunch of this mortar here and get to that solid block so that I've got more room to play. And I can actually shim both sides and get this thing in there tight. So that's after I moved it all. What a mess. So I get all the brick mold removed from the door, throw the, the deadbolt on. It's just what I like to do. Slap this in here. Make sure everything's plumb. Which is uh, vertical level, by the way. Plumb is vertical level. Take my spade bit, recess some holes. And then I take my hammer bit and I drill through there into the block. And I take my impact and I impact some tap con screws in there, which were made for brick and concrete. You like my long floppy wood? Check it out. This is called penis seal. It's vinyl adhesive caulk. Works as a caulk and as a glue. Slap up my custom cut piece. Drill some pilot holes hither and thither for three inch screws. <laughs> custom cut another piece and screw that into that piece that I just screwed into the other piece. And then glue and screw this L-shaped piece. And we're going to screw that in up here. And then we're going to do a bunch of pointing and show you where I put all the screws. And then I'm going to cut another piece and slap that in like that. Everything's screwed in nice and tight. And then you got to get two coats of paint on everything just like that. And slap the doorknobs in. And then we got to trim out the inside get this piece up there. And then we put some silicone on the bottom. And then we're on to the next house.